Hello everybody, welcome to Totally Tabled. My name is Shaggy, and today I'm doing a full solo playthrough of Meadow. So let's get started. I need to pick one of these rows and I get to take all the cards from that row. That's my starting hand. Immediately, I am looking at this third row right there. If I put this card, this is a double-sided card, so it could go either on this side or this side. If I put it on that side, I could immediately play this butterfly because it needs the worm and the grassland in order to be played. And I would have both of those things. So let's not overthink this. Let's just grab these cards and this will be my starting hand of cards. And we refill. Also start with one random north card. That is a deck that will come into play halfway through the game. And then, because we're playing the solo game, we're playing against uh, the AI, which is called Rover. And Rover just cares about gathering up points. And so to start the game, he also gets a North card and he just takes this top row of cards and adds it to his pile. And then we'll refill that as well. Now, in the solo game, Rover always takes the first turn. We just flip over the top one. It says it's blue, which means it's going on this side, and it's the number two, which means it's gonna go right here. And the two means he's gonna take the second card, which he'll just add to his stack and will be worth one point at the end of the game. That's it. And we refill. This spot is now blocked for me. I won't be able to put one of my markers in that slot. And now it's my turn. And so I can use any one of these markers over here to take cards. And then once I take a card, I can then also play a card from my hand. It can be any card, doesn't have to be the one I just took. So I'm thinking I want to play this butterfly because I can immediately play it right on top of that card there. We could also play this. We'll have a frog and a butterfly. Are there any cards out here that need butterflies or that need frogs or that need these two um, terrain types? And actually this tree needs both of those terrain types. So that seems good. And there's a couple things that need trees. This fence there. So why don't we go nab that tree? I think I'll use my two and I'll put it right here. That means I can take the second card in, and grab that tree card. Now these ground cards have uh, no requirements to, to play them. You can, just, you can just play them, and you have to play them on either the left or right side of your little uh, stack there. And you can have up to 10 of these ground tiles. You can, as you can see, they are not worth any points at the end of the game. Rover gets to go. We have purple four. So as we can see on that little sheet, it goes right here, and then he's gonna take the fourth card. One, two, three, four. Boom, he takes that. Not worth any points, so that is good for us. It's immediately replaced. All right, what do we want to do now? I think we like that card right there, get that picket fence. So we could use our four and come at it from this side, or we could use our one. Let's just go ahead and use the Let's use the four. Put that four right there, and we'll grab that card. And now, let's just play this one. So this butterfly needs a, both a worm and a grassland in my tableau, which I have right here. And so I just put it on this. It covers up the worm, but it doesn't cover up the grassland. It's worth two points. And now we have a butterfly out there for future placements. Rover's turn. When Rover plays a question mark, he comes over here to the campsite board, covers up one of the spaces, and that's all he does. We could get this tree played. Then we'd have a tree. That needs a tree. That needs a tree. A lot of things need trees. That's two points and some mushrooms. This bug is useful here. Here's another butterfly, but now we've covered up the worm. Nothing seems to need frogs at the moment. Ooh, this would need a picket fence. 
I have this picket fence. Oh, I'm just realizing this picket fence also needs this terrain type right here. Unfortunately, I don't have any way of really getting that right now because I've used my four. So we're not getting that this round. This wouldn't be bad to have because we can get that picket fence out. Well, this bug needs a butterfly and we have that in our hand too. So we can get the bug. So maybe we need to take something that needs a bug. This bird needs a bug, but also a worm. Ooh, kind of like this card here. Has two symbols on it. Yeah. Nothing else, yeah, okay. I think we're gonna go here. I think we're gonna use our one and we're gonna take this card into our hand. And we're gonna try to get this bug in play. Yeah, we're gonna get this bug in play. So it needs a butterfly. We have a butterfly right there. So we just cover it up. That'll be worth two more points. Excellent. Okay, let's see what Rover's up to. Ooh, another question mark. So there we go. He's covering that up fast. Is there any reason why I want to go over there? I just want to keep getting some cards and playing some cards. Now the question is, do I need any of these terrains? I want this one right here. I just, I just realized I have this question mark. I can make that any number I want. You know what? That seems handy actually. I think I'm gonna go for that. I'm gonna use my question mark we're gonna grab, make it a four, grab that card. And now, I don't see any reason why I need this frog. Frog's not doing me any good. So we're gonna cover that up. So this tree needs both of these terrains. Because they're on two separate cards, I can play them on either one. I could play them here or I could play it here. Uh, and I'll just play it right here. Three, so that's gonna be right here gonna take this card. Ooh, that was one I was maybe thinking about. Ooh, so we could come here and get that. I wanted that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I'm gonna have multiple trees, so that seems pretty good. Let's take that. And what do we want to play? Let's just go ahead and play down this ground. Yeah, we'll put it right here. And that's the end of the round. When you play your last token, that's the end of the round. And so we will move on to the next round. We shuffle up his tokens. I collect mine. We're gonna shuffle up Rover's tokens here and we're gonna go again. Okay, it's time for round two and we start off with Rover taking its turn. Ooh, blue two. It's gonna go right here. And we're gonna grab that one pointer. Now I'm realizing this is a four point card and it needs a bunch of stuff. One of the things it needs is two of this, um, of this particular type of ground tile. This is one of them. So we could get two of those out and try to start to gun for that. Or we could kind of ignore that. Now there's a couple of three point cards out here. I want to get these fences put up. And I'm not seeing anything that needs fences at the moment out on the board. This butterfly is worth two points. This is going to get me a bug. Ooh, bug in a tree. Ooh, that bird. That bird is not bad. That's a two point bird. I might, I might go for that two-point bird. Okay, let's grab that two-point bird. I'm gonna spend our two, I think, to grab that. Add it to our hand. And what do we wanna play? I think we wanna play this. Needs a tree and that ground. I think we're gonna wanna put it here or here. Where do we want to put this? Because this is going to have to go adjacent. When oh, it could go up here. Okay. Yeah, we're going to put it right here. We'll cover up that tree right there. All right. Well, let's see what Rover is going to do. Oh, question mark. Maybe I'll just go grab this. Okay. 
Yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to take this four. I'm going to put it here. I'm going to grab this. And I'm going to play this bird. This bird needs a bug and a tree. I've got both of those. And I'm going to put it right here. I'm going to cover up that bug. Because we're going to get another one. Rover's doing a purple one. That goes right here. And he snags that card. That's a two-point card for him. Oh, look what just came out. Oh, yeah. I definitely want that. Because look at this. That needs a mushroom. And we have a mushroom right here that we could play whenever we want. So, yes. Let's grab that. I'm going to take our one. Yeah, take our one. We're going to grab that. I think I'm just going to start... I'm going to play this right now. So now we have two of those. We're thinking about trying to trying to get close to that card at some point. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <gasps> There's a house. Ooh, he's going back up here. Okay. I don't mind that. I don't mind that. He doesn't score points when he does that. Well, I can't get this very easily. I'm going to take this three. I'm going to get this butterfly because I can grab that relatively easily. And let's go ahead and play this mushroom. It's got to be put on a tree. So put it right there. Can't do the blue one. So because there is already a marker there, it's just going to take the one that is closest clockwise. So it's going to swing over here and it's going to grab that card. Which gives it no points. So we're not too sad about that. Oh, and there's another one with a tree. Ah, I wouldn't mind getting that. Not gonna happen this round. No way to get to it. Ooh, boy. What do I want? Don't have berries. You know what? I'm just gonna take this bird. I'm just gonna go here and take this bird. Yep, I'm gonna take this. And then we have a mushroom. We're gonna play this card. So... What this landscape card needs is one of these road tokens, which we have an unused one, and this mushroom. So the cool thing about this is we just put it above our board here. We flip the uh, token over to show that it's been used. And that's worth three points, and we didn't have to cover up anything. But now we're out of road tiles. We'll have to go to the campfire board in order to get more in the future. But that's the end. That's all my tokens. So that's the end of round two. We move on to round three. Four blue. I'm going to go up here. I'm going to grab that card. That's a two-pointer. So there's a couple of interesting things that came out. So there's this frog here. And we need a frog for this four-point bird. So I'm kind of tempted to grab that. I'm also tempted to grab this house because we haven't seen a house come out yet, other than this one. And this wants a house. We also, but if we're gonna play that house, we're gonna need that terrain. I think I'm gonna grab that frog because we haven't seen many of those. How do I wanna take this? I'm gonna take it like this, I think. I'm gonna use my one and grab that. Like that, I'm gonna play this. It has to be, so this is a special card. It needs to be adjacent to either a house or a fence. So we have a fence here, so I could put it here or here. I'm gonna place it right here. Hey, let's see what Rover's doing. Ooh, yellow three. That's right here. So you can see on this little chart here. One, two, three. All right. Just a one pointer, no problem. I think I do want that house. But before I take the house, yeah, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna use my four and I'm gonna take this tree. And I'm actually just gonna go ahead and play that right away. Purple one. Oh, and he takes the house. Rover, are you kidding me? Oh man. And, oh, and I, I can't remember to refill these uh, piles here, it's crazy. Okay, well, that changes our plan, doesn't it? We took the wrong card there. Oh, now what do we want to do? 
Well, we have a tree. What needed a tree that I was that I was interested in? Okay, we really want we have that. We'd be covering up the bug to get the frog, so we would need another bug. We have both of those, so we would just need another bug. Ooh, getting this thing out is a real pain. I don't want to put this out because that covers that up. Same thing with this. Covering up the things that we need. This needs a this needs a tree. Okay. Okay. I don't think we're gonna have two bugs to play a bug, so we need to abandon that idea. Yeah. You know what? I'm gonna play my two and I'm gonna grab this guy. He's a two-pointer, he needs a tree, and that ground type that we have. I'm just gonna go ahead and play this. So what this needs is a landscape card, which we have and a tree, which we have. So we have to play it onto a landscape, covering up that landscape. But now we have a six pointer right there. And again, we haven't covered up anything in our little meadow. So it's coming back here. That is not getting him any points. So we're happy to see that. That is exactly what we need. Exactly what we need. Now, here's the problem. No way of getting that. But this is where the campfire board comes into play. So instead of playing my token out to here, I'm going to play it over here. And because I'm playing my question mark, I can take any of the actions that are at the bottom of these tokens. So there's a few different actions. This one is take any one card. This one is just play two cards from your hand. This one is get two more of these road tokens so you can play those landscapes and this one on the three is just draw three cards out of any deck and take one i think the one we want to do is this one right here which is just take any card from the board and we're just going to take this card that we can't get to any other way the bad thing about that is we don't get to play any cards, so it's a bit of a weaker turn, but I really wanted that card, and I didn't want to wait. Oh, he's going over here, grabbing this two-pointer. Not good. All right. I'm going to go here. And let's go ahead and play this down. Needs a tree. We'll play it on the tree. Perfect. So now we have the bug that we need, and that's it out of tokens, so that's the end of the round. Okay, so it's the start of round four, and because our little guy has crossed past this hourglass, we had to do a few things. First, we cleared the board completely. We replaced the south deck with the north deck, and then we completely refilled the board. So we have all new cards over here, and as you can see, we've got some big point cards in this north deck. Well, we gotta start with Rover. Okay, he's coming here and he's grabbing that card. I do not mind that. Well, we're getting a bird out and we have another bird here. Oh, we have a bird already, so two birds. Yes, and that hawk, yes, that's what I want. I want that hawk. Also this guy, this wolf is good too, look at that could swing that probably we don't have a tree at the moment we got a tree right there and and this hawk too also good we have this guy tree that guy okay so we got some plans here i think we definitely want to pick up some of those guys though so let's start with that hawk do i want to use my two or my three i'm gonna use my three here i'm gonna grab this guy he seems good. And let's get this frog out. Although that, yeah, this is good. Okay, we're gonna put that froggy right there. It's going right here. One, two, three. Pick up this bird. That's a four pointer. Hmm, that's a shame. I think we have everything for this bird, right? Yeah, we do. So we can put this bird out, which means we'll have everything for that. Kind of like that wolf, but I also like this bird. Now, either way, we'll need another animal. We 
we have one here. Well, the wolf is worth more points, so why don't we, why don't we, why don't we grab him? Let's play our bird, our four-point bird. We've been working on this guy for a while. So we have everything. We have the grub, we have the bug, we have the frog, we have two of those. Now the question is, where do I want to put him? Yeah, I'm going to cover up this grub. We'll put him right there. That looks good. Two. Oh, he takes another four-pointer. Oh my goodness. Wow. Okay, we're, we're falling behind. We got the two birds, so we could put out that hawk right or falcon or something. I, I don't know birds very well, sorry. I don't, I'm not sure what that is. Now the other thing we could do is just play some cards. We could just put this out uh, onto the campfire board and just play some cards. I don't want to do that yet and I'll show you why. You'll, you'll see why I don't want to do that quite yet. Oh, we got this one and we like this. Maybe we just grab it. I like it. I like it. We're gonna grab it. Okay, we're gonna grab it, and now we're gonna play this hawk. What's this guy doing? Two. Okay, there's something here at two, so it's gonna go clockwise here. Oh, it's gonna grab the house again. Okay, that wasn't meant to be. Ooh, here's another house. I like that one better. It's only worth one point. We don't really need a house. Okay, we're not gonna worry about the house too much. We're fine. I think are gonna go to the campfire ground. We're gonna use our four. That's gonna let us play two cards. Let's play this tree. Ah, uh, the wolf wants a tree. Okay, well, the wolf's gonna have to wait. I think, I think the wolf's gonna have to wait. That's just, that's just how it's gotta be. So we're playing the tree, we'll play that guy on the tree. Now, one of the other things that we can do when we go to the campfire spot is we can get one of these, one of these little spots. So if we have the house, bird, and I'm calling it the hawk symbol, then we can put our little tokens down. Now, this is gonna score us points at the end of the game, and you have to go from lowest to highest. So we have to start with our two pointer and we do have a bird and the hawk. So we can put that right there between them. And that's gonna score us two points at the end of the game. Let's see what Rover's doing. Oh, he's taking the next spot. Don't mind it, don't wanna go back there. Last token, we need a tree for our wolf. That's our four point wolf. I think we really want to take care of him. So let's go grab this tree. Yeah. And now we can play this guy. Bug, frog, rodent, or animal track, whatever we want to call these symbols. So maybe we can take out that bug. Yeah, I think we're gonna do that. We're gonna take out that bug. And that's actually the end of the round. Okay, Rover's up first. Yellow one. Okay, two pointer. Ah, these don't really help us. That needs so many. You know, we might think about getting that house just so we can get our tokens out here on the campfire board. And I also like that owl. Yeah, definitely want that owl. Okay, let's grab the owl. Ooh, I hate to use my two because I might want to get a couple more of these road tokens. Oh, are we just gonna not worry about that? Well, I might worry about it. So I'll use my three, get it that way. Okay, and then let's play this tree out. So that'll work. Four. All right. Don't mind that at all. You can have it. Ooh, okay. That is a good landscape. That we could handle. Can use our one here to get that if we want it. 
Yeah, let's go ahead and grab that. That's three points. That's pretty good. Grab that. Let me fill it in right away. And let's go ahead and play Mr. Wolfie. Got two of those. Got our tree. Got our animal. We want to save the animal, so we'll put it on the tree. Three. Okay. Oh, another four-pointer. He keeps snagging the four-pointers. He just sniffs them out and snags them up. That is insane. I'm going to take the house because I want to have a house. And what are we going to play? Let's play our let's play our owl friend. Oh, wait a minute. The owl needed the tree. Oh boy. Okay, we made a mistake. We made a mistake, but we're not going to retcon it. Okay, I think I am going to retcon that. Because I need that tree for this owl. So I'm going to put it here instead. Saving the tree. And then I'm going to play the owl onto the tree. Slight little retcon there, but... You know. It's a solo game. Three. One, two, three. Takes those mushrooms. That's a three-pointer. Well, now we can cover the frog, I guess. Is there anything juicy out here? I'm not seeing anything that's really wowing me. I think I want to get that house put out. Okay, yeah. I'm going to take... I'm going to come here. Take that tree. And then play this house out. I'm going to go right there. Okay, so now we got we got our house out. And one. Very good, very good. And of course, I forgot to fill these out. All right, and for our last play, I think we're gonna go over here. We're gonna be able to put our token. We have a house and a bird. We have two of those, so let's go ahead and go like that. House and the bird. We also have that one, but we can only do one of those per per turn. So even though we could fulfill both, we can only do one. And for my question mark, I'm going to actually take two road tiles so I can get that done. Going into the last round, guys. That's it. Okay, Rover's up first. Four. Ah, oh, nice. No points for you. We could get that. That's a three-pointer right there. Just stick it on top of there. We don't cover up anything. That makes sense to me. We're going to use our three. Grab that. And let's just go ahead and play this out. So put out our little road. Boom. We have a little bit of a plan. Ooh. That's actually a little scary. We want to make sure that we can go there at least once. Oh, wow. We're a little stuck here. We're going to go and take care of this right now. Now, the playing two cards... Well, we could play this card and then that card. We'd be very limited. Now, the other thing that we could do, and this is something I haven't really talked about, is... If you're missing a symbol, you can always spend two cards from your hand to make up for that symbol. So theoretically, we could take this card and then just spend two cards to make up for one of those ground tiles that uh, ground cards that we're missing. That feels um, problematic. I, I would rather just play these cards, but they might be hard to play. It's something we might have to think about. But for right now, you know what? I am just going to go there. We're going to play out this card here. And we're going to play this. This can go over here. And we get to put this last tile down. Ooh. Okay, three. All right. Come on. Be something good. Ooh, it is a four-pointer. Yeah, you know, I am kind of tempted... So just, like, take this card and just play it. Or this card, actually. Or this card. Because I have another road. 
Okay, that seems reasonable. Seems reasonable. Let's... Let's grab that. And we... We're gonna play it. We're gonna take a risk here. We're gonna play this. Um, of course, I have no room for it whatsoever. So we're gonna take our last road here. And to make up for that missing symbol that, you know, we don't have two of that ground. So we're gonna spend our last two cards here, discard them in order to play that. Bit of a risk. We'll see how that works out. Or it's up here. Okay, this could be good. Let's see what we get. Ooh, it was good. It was good. We want that. Yeah, we definitely want that. So let's grab that with our one, and we can just play it immediately. We have the bird, we have the landscape. Boom. Last play. Gonna go here. That was a two-pointer, so that could have been worse. That could have been worse. We want to grab something that we can play, I guess. Because we have no cards. Can we play anything out here? Can we play anything for points? We might have put ourselves into a corner here, and we just simply can't play. Well, we can play that house, so we can at least get that one point. Is there nothing else? I don't think there is. I think that's the only card that we could actually play and get to. <laughs> so, there we go. Let's do it. Point's a point. Play right there. Okay, that's it. We're done. Okay, counting up points in this game is super, super easy. First, let's count up Rover's points. I'm just gonna go through his deck. Thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five. Forty-five points for Rover. And now let's see how we did. So let's just go through. Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-six, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two. 35, 39, 42, 46, 47, 48, 50, 53, 54. 54 points. We have defeated Rover. Oh, look at that. 54 points. Amazing species. The memories of this trek will stay with you for a long time. Well, there you go. We absolutely nailed it. I'm kind of surprised. I didn't think it was going that well. But there you go. That was a full solo playthrough of Meadow. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you later.